to get bigger and bigger and I just feel the Lord says that you are going to be a leader and where and you are going to bless a lot of other people with these crowns and the Lord says I will always put a crown on your head because of your humble heart and you are going to be a leader you're going to touch so many people's lives but there is going to be a light that shines from you that is going to really I, I just see how you are going to glow there's just the light of God shining through you and I just feel how the Lord says you are going to be a beacon of love and wisdom and the Holy Spirit is going to come into your life in in the most amazing ways I just feel the Lord is really blessing you with amazing dreams already of heaven and who he is and having that relationship and I just feel how the Lord says daughter your light is going to shine so yeah Catherine God loves you so much God has such a big plan for you um yeah God bless you our next word is for Carolyn. Carolyn, when I prayed for you, I saw us. I saw how God showed me how he, he touched your lips, and I just felt like how a joy came upon you. I see. I feel like how that joy that came upon you is like that joy radiates from you, but it radiates around you as well. And then I saw how God showed me how he, when he touched your lips, how a, a song came from your voice. And I felt like how God showed me how you like have a wonderful voice, how you'll be singing for him, how you'll be praising him. And I just see as well how God showed me that like, like you've got like a very, very mathematical brain as well. I saw like how God showed me how you like doing maths and you're like solving all this like very, very difficult um, things. And I just saw as well how God created you to be like very creative. Mm -hmm. I saw like in the creative realm how you like seeing new ideas and you're like creating new patterns and just like designing things that God created that God placed in the spiritual realm and God allowed you to see. And then I also saw like how God showed me like you've got healing hands, how you like praying for people and they start to get healed even from a little small small you're still one year old but I feel like how God shows me like even from a small age when you pray for people how they how they'll be healed be blessed okay thank you Carolyn for being here may your parents write us and ask for <laughs> the next word is for Jennifer Jennifer the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of you running into the room grabbing a suitcase that was on the bed and you fly out of the room but as you go the briefcase is not even properly closed and all of your clothes and your stuff that you need for your trip falls on the ground now you've got a decision to make are you quickly gonna just throw everything in and hope you make it on time uh, but the Lord says Rather than coming to that decision, plan properly. Um, allow for yourself enough time to plan properly. I see you're underestimating the trip uh, that you need to take. And the Lord says, with a lot of things in life, if you plan, if you take some time to think about it, plan properly, and listen to the Spirit of God, you will gain wisdom concerning what you need to know, need to do, need to remember. But if you're always in a haste, uh, you tend to neglect some of the things. And the Lord just wants you to... Um, have more peace on your trip. Be blessed. Okay. Um, so everybody is saying that they can't hear, but we are recording. So this video will be posted yeah, on the channel so you can watch it later. Okay? Yeah. So don't worry that you're, you won't lose your word. It will be, you can watch it back. Okay, this next word is for Mariette. Mariette, the Lord shows me how you are giving it all to the Lord. I see how, how in your heart is like a house and you are clearing it out. You're saying, Lord, I give this to you. I am holding nothing because you have everything. You fill me up with everything that I need. The Lord shows me how, how, how even when you wake up in the morning that you're already full that you don't have that you don't that you don't have this craving to eat but you still eat to live but you feel I am full I have everything that I need I am satisfied in the Lord and everything else is just keeping this body alive but I see how how you really tap into that spirit of the Lord has everything that I need and I do not need to fear be blessed hey Marie uh, God bless you uh, so the next word is for Jock van Jeden uh, Jock uh, I really feel that the Lord is just decoupling some, some uh, luggage, some baggage that you've been carrying with you. And I see you had to take res uh, responsibility uh, for some people in your life, uh, but they're going to decouple uh, and you're going to move forward without having to take responsibility. So I see you shed some responsibilities and that opens up a way for you to move forward into the next place that the Lord has for you. 
Uh, the Lord says, I love you very, very much. And I don't want you to bear burdens that you don't have to, uh, to, to carry. And so just like every house has a fence and a border. So in the same way, the Lord is showing you and teaching you what is the border around your life. So that you only take responsibility for what's inside of your responsibility. God bless. Amen. This next word is for Mary. Mary, I saw a very interesting picture for you. I saw a picture of how you you had the suitcase and you had to carry this very heavy um, suitcase, this bag, luggage from one spot to the other and it was quite a way. And I saw how you started carrying and obviously it was heavy, but then the more you went, it was like you got stronger and then it, it just became lighter. But it wasn't only because you were getting stronger. It was because you carried on walking and God was walking with you and God helped you carry it as well. And it just felt lighter and lighter and lighter. But at the same time, it was like the bag was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And there was more that you were carrying, but it was, but it, and, but you were strong to hold it. And I just feel how the Lord says, keep on going. And the Lord says, no, that is not, it is not you holding this bag by yourself, but he is holding it with you. He loves you. And I just feel the Lord says, you are so valuable in my eyes. I love you so, so much. And I am speaking and singing these songs of love over you. And I'm calling you to receive it because there's so much love I want you to receive. So I really want to encourage you, Mary, come into God's presence and just receive it because he has such a big gift that he wants to give you. God bless you. Our next word is for Terry. Terry, when I prayed for you, God showed me how like the sea, like the waves of the sea, that they, they're going back and forward, back and forward. And I felt like how that's how your circumstances are. Like It's like good and bad, good and bad. Then it's like becoming better, but then it's like worse again. But I feel like our God shows me that you need to come into His presence. And when you come into His presence, you'll just feel the peace that He's going to flood over you. I feel like our God is saying, you do not need to be anxious about your circumstances. You do not need to feel like you need to control like every second of the day. Because I feel like our God is showing me that when you give everything over to Him, how you like, like um, make everything to be like, uh, at the r right level, how you'll re like reset your circumstances. And I just feel like how you don't have to be anxious, like give everything to God. Be blessed. Thank you, Terry, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for Jacques. Jacques, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Uh, in with the new, out with the old. I just see how there's a lot of the old things that is not working properly, that is not... Uh, you, it just brings delay in your life. And I just see how the Lord says this. it's time for a renewal. Number one, renewal of your mind, renewal of the way you think, renewal of the way you go about business. And then I see because you are so open to learn new things, how the Lord says, okay, now I'm going to send you what you need to know, what you need to learn, and how the new strategies, new plans, new abilities will actually help you tremendously in business. Um, it, it will not cause the same problems as the problems you had in the past. I don't say neglect your experience, but it's just the, some of the old things that is not working properly. Change it up uh, to things that work properly so that you can have a proper flow. Be blessed. Amen. Uh, Jacques, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Arthur. Arthur, the Lord shows me complete transformation, like metamorphosis, like the, like the, the, the caterpillar turning into a butterfly complete complete transformation in your life the lord shows me how how that is going to take time how you need to be in the cocoon surround yourself by the lord and know that he is working but you are also working you are making you are the lord shows me how he's bringing you discipline to to not go back to to old ways that were that were you know keeping you in that caterpillar stage but because the lord wants you to 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 level up to transform to to move into in, into how he sees you so the lord shows me he wants you to work and know that he is working be blessed hey awesome uh, theory uh, god bless you okay. uh, Ach, is, is it author? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, so who must I minister to now next? Inongi. Is one second? Inongi. Inongi. Okay, awesome. Um, so for some reason I thought you were ministering to Terry. All right, awesome. Author, God bless you. Um, thank you for coming. So uh, next person I want to uh, minister to is Inongi. All right. 
Uh, let me yeah. see if I, I... I can't read it. Can I just quickly yeah. see? Uh, Inongi. Oh, <laughs> Inongi, sorry. My eyes is not that good. And I can't see that far. There's a screen over there. I can't see nicely what it is. But um, uh, let me just sit for a moment and just hear what God is saying. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Inongi, uh, I see how the Lord is using you. And He's putting a fire of God upon your life to minister. I see how he's helping you to cleanse out the old inside of you. It's like a flash of the fire of God that he places in you. And that fire of God, that baptism of fire, cleanses you, but it also propels you forward into the ministry and the call that is upon your life. And I just see how the, the Lord, just like on that day when Jesus was baptized in water, how the heavens open above you and how the Holy Spirit come and sit upon you and how the Lord anoint you for the work and for the ministry that he has in your life. And the Lord says, son, I've called you and I want you to listen and I want you to be obedient. And then you'll see breakthrough. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Nongi. God loves you. Um, everybody that's watching the live, just a reminder. Um, I, we know there's a lot of technical difficulties going uh, going on, but we are recording this, so we will post this video after the live, and then you can all hear your prophetic words properly if there was any um, breaking up. But thanks for having grace with us. All right. So this next word is for Frankie. Frankie, the Lord loves you very much. God has called you to be a fisher of men. It is your obedience that's going to lead to victory when jesus told the disciples fish that way they fished that way even though it was impossible all the striving trying to fish all night and nothing i think that's so frustrating and the moment jesus said do that they did it they got it and i just feel the lord says you are going to be the person that listens and does so i just feel the lord says you are a doer so but but sometimes we can get so busy doing and then nothing gets done so i just feel the lord says listen to me and 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 just work on that so so yeah i just feel that that you really have a gift for that and then i just feel that you are really um that that there's like while praying for you it was like i was seeing a um a vase but there were holes in this vase and i just saw how the lord was uh, pouring his water but i just feel god is really um properly fixing this vase so that he can properly receive his water and I just feel and and it was like you you liked that there were that there were holes in this because the thing was then you could overflow but then you're still empty and I just feel the Lord says you're going to overflow um the right way so that you can still always be full so I just feel that's a promise God is giving you Frankie God loves you so much and I really feel that you are going to lead a lot of people to also be amazing fishers of men God loves you God bless you our next word is for Ricky Erasmus. Ricky, what I felt for you, uh, God saying that you're going to have breakthrough, you're going to have victory, and you're going to have provision. I feel like our God shows me like how you're in circumstances, and that circumstances is like you, you don't know where, which way to go next. And I felt like our God showed me how He wants you to, to just follow the plans that He's got for you. But if you don't know what the plans is, I feel like how God shows me how you need to spend time with Him. Because I feel like how when you're like sitting at Jesus' feet and when you're like spending more time with God, how God will make, make it known to you. I feel like how God shows me that when you feel like empty, when you feel like you don't know which way to go next, how God shows me that when you're like praying in tongues, or when you're like make, making known time like I'm um, spending time in the morning or at night with him how God shows me that you'll get full of the spirit and you'll be e it will be easier to know which way to go because I feel like how the spirit inside of you will be make uh, will make that you will, will hear God's voice better be blessed thank you Ricky for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next word is for Angela. Angela, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of the Spirit of God blow. When God blows, his spirit moves, and that spirit creates a whirlwind. And you are taking up into that whirlwind. And I just see the more you resist, the less you will receive. The more you let go, the more you receive, the more comes in. The more what needs to come in comes in, the more that needs to go goes. And I just see how you have peace with this process because it feels like there's a, a tug of war of things, what needs to go and what needs to stay and all of that situation. And I just feel the Lord says, in order for you to keep your peace, you just need to let it go and trust the Lord so that this circumstances will work out according to 
His will, His purposes. Yes, some people will take what doesn't belong to them, uh, but that is not the focus. God doesn't look at the now. He looks at the future. He looks at your entire life. So I just see move with the Spirit of God. Pray for the Spirit of God to move in you, and then you make your decisions. Be blessed. Amen. Angela, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Zunel. The Lord shows me um, how, how He is the vine and we are the branches and we are supposed to be an extension of Him, um, reflecting Him. And the Lord shows me how He lives inside of you and you can release, you can release His presence to work through you. And the Lord shows me how, how when you decide, Lord, I'm going to partner with you. I know that, that I am connected to you that as an, an extension of your works and your amazing, amazingness, I'm going to, I'm going to release. And the Lord shows me when you go in with that faith and that, and that knowing that things will start to happen because you know, it's not you, you know, it is Jesus in you and you partnering, partnering with him. To see the move, to see the ground breaking open. And the Lord says, practice that, practice with the little things to to, to partner with him and to see how it how it comes in in his way. Be blessed. Amen. God bless you, Zanel. God loves you. This next word is for um Anne. And while praying for you, I saw the picture of Jonah and the whale. And we all know the story that got that the, the fish swallowed him up and took him where he needed to be. And I feel that this this is a little bit like you, but this is different. It is like there are so many ways that you can go and you're like, God, which direction that I go? And God says, Don't worry, I'm going to get a vehicle for you and take you to where you need to be. And I just see how the Lord has provided for you, like this bus or car that you get in and then it takes you exactly where you need to be. So I just feel the Lord's says that I am picking you up and I'm taking you exactly where you need to be and I, I just feel that you are going to be a voice, a mother, um, a blessing to a lot of people. I, I, I just feel how the Lord says that don't worry, He's picking you up, placed you exactly where you need to be and God is calling you to speak and I feel like sometimes you hold back and you're like, God, there are so many people speaking, why should I speak as well? Because obviously it's, 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 when there's a lot of people in the room speaking and then you're like, why should I? Um, and I just feel the Lord says, no, I've given you an assignment. I've given you a calling and I will give you the confidence and the words that you need in the right time to speak. So I just feel the Lord says, um, come to my presence. Let me let me talk to you and you can hear um, hear what I have to say to you. And, 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 and his words are going to flow through you. God loves you and you have such a big calling. God bless you. Hey, and God bless you. Uh, family, I know there's still a lot of people with names on the list, but because our sound is not very good, um, I'm going to rather um, call it the day for today, and uh, we're going to be back again Monday, and we will make sure that we got all our sound issues sorted before Monday. Uh, we love each one of you. Must have a fabulous weekend. God bless you.